I always wanted to come back with a video like this. I've been hesitating to record all this for so long now, and even with the third draft of the script in front of me, the thought of how things will go from here leaves me shaking. I knew it wasn't going to be fun, but after banging on about it for months on end, looking for answers, connecting dots, and forming my own conclusions, I think I've come to a satisfying bookend. I want to close this chapter as much as you do, and I'm speaking in general because I've felt everyone around me get exhausted about this. Disagree in the comments all you want, this will be the last time I talk about this topic on video. On that note, let's get this over with. It has been seven months since I left the Alliance of Idiots and it's been about eight months since I left the song's war server. I think the audience way back when may have realized by now that right after the creator of Songs of War was exposed, or more that he exposed himself, I went ahead and unlisted all the videos related to the show. This includes the Minecraft series I've retroactively dubbed as AOI Realms solely because the name was the original name of the group, Idiots of Ardonia, the decision to unlist the videos was not a hard choice. I already knew where the audience was coming from, and I knew it wouldn't mix well with my style of videos anyway. This is the everything wrong with Songs of War guy you're hearing from, by the way. I'll give my two cents on the Songs of War Minecraft server shutting down. I'm still close friends with Dexium to this day, that being the server owner and all. And we were in a call when I was looking up websites I could find with the search term Songs of War Server. His website had already been gone for months at this point. He didn't want more people joining in. That's when I discovered another Discord roleplay server planning to make their own Minecraft server using the exact same layout of Dexium's website. I can recognize the people behind them had no ill intentions, but seeing his website get blatantly copied and pasted down to the background art he rendered years ago was heartbreaking. He considered everything he'd have to do to get the server back into shape and realized it would be too much effort put way too late. I tried helping out with the server each step of the way until 2023 when that expose rolled around. Separating art from the artist was not an option for me. I never really cared much about the show itself. It was the community I stuck around for, otherwise I would have made even more videos on the subject. So after I had heard Dexium work day in and day out for years, burning himself out and losing most of his funding and motivation, I know putting the project to rest is a big step in improving his mental health, and I'm fully supportive of it. I'll be closely following whatever he comes up with next, and for the rest of the community, I want to thank you for sticking around. Even the ones we'll get to addressing later. I think it only makes sense to address this now and address it quickly. Spanning between April and September of 2022, I was asked to help edit the latest Songs of War lore videos by Noah Atlantis. He was a big creator in the Minecraft server, and I thought his lore videos were fun, even with their inaccuracies. <laughs> the writing team for it wanted to exaggerate the details to make the videos more entertaining, but that meant real events on the server would be rewritten with the sides being painted as either heroes or villains. I was friends with those villains, and the heroes were already drifting to their own community, the Yashia Network, so in the end, it came out looking like a stunt to pull the audience away from Songs of War. I showed the drafts Noah supplied me with to the idiots, and they were furious about how the writers had portrayed their friend Alex, who was already drifting away from everything related to the server. If he's watching this somehow, I hope he's doing better, and I just wanted to say his name for the sake of context. The idiots brought their issues to Noah, basically pushing him to change the entire video to help reflect both sides better, when he refused to scrap all his work and start from the ground up. Instead, editing out the more problematic sections from the video, the idiots had riled me up to fire at all cylinders. I had made a 50 minute video as a response to Noah's lore videos, including the workload I was handed, the schedules that jumped all over the place, and the lack of care put into fixing the videos the ways he was told to. However, the anger around had influenced me to throw insults and jabs to make the points I had delicately picked out almost become meaningless. The message in my head was clear. Consult the people you wish to portray in your videos. Make sure you get as many perspectives from both sides as possible. 
Ask if they're okay with the way you've written them beforehand. Try remove any personal bias. If you want to fix your mistakes, put some time into it. Don't rush yourself to make the same mistakes when you plan to move on and make lore videos on Avalon. As I had invited a writer for the videos to give their two cents on what the Ashian side was like, the idiots came in to write their own segments. In retrospect, these segments were what really twisted the knife on Noah's back, resorting to criticizing his love life and the ways he wished death upon people harassing him. The video included screenshots from private conversations as evidence, and the fact I signed off on all of this goes to show how ignorant I was of Noah's feelings to get their points across. I apologize to Noah already in public and in private, but I took the video down, so I want to apologize once again. Noah, I'm really sorry for making that video. I wanted you to take my points to heart, but I heartlessly agreed making it emotionally impactful will get the message across, which it didn't. I want you to know the people around then truly have no empathy, and I'm sorry if you had to deal with them turning against you and exposing your private life. I know how powerless you felt, and I hope you can understand I wasn't in the right headspace. I've grown to be more emotionally aware after that video, and I've come to realize my heart was in the right place. It was the fact that I let other people speak for me and condemn you for the little things and gave them room to spread hate all over the bigger picture that made things so difficult. I translated the thoughts I wanted you to hear from the start and listed them off moments ago, so you can tune out all the yelling in the past and take what I wanted to say close to heart. I'm also sorry to paint the people of Ashia in such a negative light. The pressure was on, and things got heated, and from the people confused speaking with their chest, it was easy to highlight the bad takes. I believe now that even if you were biting ideas from Songs of War, the server you've built has gained its own identity, and it sucks to be part of the people who painted you as a bunch of toxic children. I'm glad you have found your footing besides that, and I'm glad you welcomed me on to be chill despite our troubled past. Let's just squash things and move on, enough with the petty drama. Ah, fuck, I just shot myself in the foot. This is where the video stops being feel-good and even apologetic. I don't care to look through the details, as I've only been muddied and twisted, and I don't care to address even the serious accusations when the idiots have jokingly accused me of some criminal heinous shit. So I want to give my reasons why I wish to dissociate from the group entirely, and I'd like to focus on the reason I left. Also, I respect the community I built here, but now is prime time to tell all of you not to harass the people involved. This all happened months ago, and the need to make this video now was that I was kept under to stay silent. If you go after the people mentioned, you're no better than them, and I disown you ahead of time. So give them the space they need. Unless you're close to the idiots, then keep tabs and stay away. I don't want you getting hurt the way I was. Let's be the bigger people though, and not harass anyone. Got it? Got it. I made a video like this in June. I felt uncomfortable, apologies, yada yada. Five weeks later, I was having an argument with Mortifer about his twisting of a fallout between him and one of his former friends. That friend in his head had turned from a white liar to a blatant liar to a pathological liar, and he had called them so in comparison to a person completely out of the conversation in private. Before the idiots cut me off again, no, the screen share Mort had of this private conversation was not my responsibility. Mort was told his screen share was still up, and he shrugged it off. I don't care how things led up to me having another argument with Mort. I care more about the argument itself. So I criticized Mort of twisting the truth to stay mad at someone he wanted to make up with. The conversation shifted with how he felt, which according to him is personal, so I won't get into it. Apparently he wanted a place to vent, and I wasn't giving it to him. Which is funny, because I was trying to give both ends a place to talk their issues with one another, but I digress. Mort had managed to tug at my empathy strings, but when I was about to share him how the other side generally felt about his community, I thought aloud, Nah, that's too personal, I can't. I was trusted with how they had expressed their feelings, and they had mentioned they only felt comfortable showing them to me. For a second I felt that maybe more understood the pains they had felt and had gone through, and maybe could empathize and make up. 
A second later, I backed off knowing full well how many times I had asked for his empathy, but never getting it over the course of several months. And then Mort said something along the words of, You get to know all this information about me so quickly, why can't I know what you know? I was made to feel guilty about not giving him private information, and I was pressured to give it to him when I told him it was personal. Intentionally or not, I was guilt-tripped. That's what made me uncomfortable staying in the idiots, that's what made me refuse to give Vex the information when he tried stepping in to fill my role as their quote-unquote mediator, and I don't want to be around the idiots if they push me for other people's information. The idiots had spent months making up a story of how I was manipulating them and pressuring people to distrust me and cut contact because of it. I vividly remember the quote, he slanders me so I have no problem slandering him, from Mort. At the same time, I was looking for support or any validation, and support never came. I wrote a document explaining my side, although I spent most of it rushing to conclusions and giving the idiots the benefit of the doubt. The responses to the doc were a double-edged sword. I got more support from outside the idiots, and the idiots told me off for being the terrible person I wrote myself as. I've had months to look back on this, to choose whether I wanted to be thorough or focused. They had pressured people around me to try show them I was a terrible person. On the idiot circle, it really seemed to work. I tried talking to one of the idiots to go explain what a shit show was formed around and how was I treated, with people getting pressured to leak my DMs and share around everything I was saying to them. That led to even more harassment and verbal abuse to keep me from speaking up. I swore an oath to remain silent, and broke it as soon as I was threatened to remain silent. I don't want this video to cause anything with the idiots or anyone around me, but for the sake of my own broken psyche, I want this information addressed and buried. I want a place where the idiots can look back and reflect what they did was wrong, no matter how unapologetic they have been in private. I don't wish the way I was treated on anybody. This was not justice, nor was it revenge. This was the idiots dumping their traumas and insecurities with condemnation, and at this point, I've seen it far too many times. I deeply wish for the people involved to seek therapy. What they've said, what they've projected at me, and how entitled they've been to not apologize for the same things they pressed me to apologize for, I want them to do some serious self-reflection. If they are as healed as they say they've been, I haven't seen a damn thing change. So directly to the idiots, please. You have affected the people around you in too many mentally damaging ways. If it's not wrong to hurt someone because they hurt you first, most of these people were completely innocent. I don't care what you have to say to me, but I seriously hope they can recognize you have problems that need to be sorted out or understood as soon as possible. For the sake of everyone around you, extend your break. Seek therapy. Talk to someone who can recognize the echo chamber around you and help escort you out of it. I despise liars as much as you do, so I want you to start taking in the truth before you hurt more of the close friends you've had. If all this falls under deaf ears, you people have been the first to tell me. But I don't need to hear it. Unless you come discuss with an open heart, I will simply block you for harassment. As much as I truly know you idiots, you have genuinely sucked at keeping your raging rants constructive. I still care for you all aside from this. Why do you think I'm bringing this back up seven months after the fact? Because I haven't seen you change and I've let you sit too comfortably about it. For the love of your own community, for the sake of all your aching hearts, please, leave me alone. Think about your loved ones and seek therapy. Thank you for listening. Coming back to YouTube with a video of this nature always feels weird. So, I've made another video alongside explaining the plans I have for the channel going forward. On a personal note, I felt sort of stagnant making videos on here since I felt, ironically enough, spineless. I want to try other formats and continue to make more interesting things here instead of the quick gaming video or two. After all, I expected people to come watch my videos from the Idiots channel, but I ended up putting everything there instead, even the high effort stuff. 
So, I guess this is that year of me that's been a popular focus, and yeah, it's been a minute since I was the main focus here. I put everything off last year in fear of getting blasted or exposed, but at this point, I pity the people who still have to put up with things from seven months ago. <laughs> Sheesh. This is my cold reflection of what happened, and now the focus will be the horizon. For the time being, watch that other video if you want something warmer, and... If you feel like sticking around, then, uh, enjoy your time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a calendar to smash.